Hi guys, welcome back to Flora Fun and Food. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to show you how I made this birthday present for a friend's husband. She wanted to kind of make a little book of clues that will lead him to figure out what his birthday present is, which is um, tickets to see John Party in concert. So I'll show you each page kind of what we did, but um, I bound this all by hand. I covered it and everything, so I'll show you everything I did to make this happen. To start off, I like to sit out all of the supplies and materials that I have just to kind of start planning out my design and just seeing what I have to work with. Um, and then I started opening up all of the packages and just kind of picking and choosing things that I liked. I also bought a scrapbook paper pad that matched this theme. So just kind of going through those, seeing what I could use, what I liked, things like that. Um, I needed five pages for this project, and so I was trying to decide which five patterns of cards I liked. Um, I bought a greeting card package, which were the four on top there, but um, decided to use the dark blue one as um, the fifth one. I ended up not using that gold striped one. And then I just kept opening up all the packages. I had some cute little envelopes and tags and stickers and just little add-ons. Um, I'm sorting through the things that I don't think I'm going to use here. Um, there was a lot of beach themed things um, like shells and seagulls and things like that and I really didn't need those for this project so I'm just kind of organizing and just keeping out the things that I think I will use. After that I cut the greeting cards in half because as you can see the backs don't always match the front and I wanted them to all be um, uniform so I'm cutting them in half and then I'm using them as a template to cut out this dark blue and gold striped one. Um, and then I'm going to glue them back together. I know it sounds counterproductive, but I'm gluing them back together here um, because I want them to be double sided and I wanted them to all be uniform. So once I had all the pieces I need, I used this glue tape, that, which was really handy, to stick the papers back together. And voila! There is our page one. I used a bone folder there just to kind of crease it down and make sure it was secure. Then I grabbed a recycling or a box from my recycling to make my cover. So I'm cutting this cardboard just a little bit um, larger than my little index cards. And then I'm cutting a smaller piece for the spine in the middle. Now this is how I used to do book binding. Um, and as you'll see, I changed my plan halfway through, but it worked out. So after that I laid it out and I'm measuring out my burlap paper. It was kind of cool. It was like burlap on the front but with a paper backing. Um, I got it in the scrapbook section at Joann's. It was really nice. So I'm measuring it, cutting it, you know, all the crafty things. And then I'm laying these out to add Mod Podge to them. You can just use regular PVA glue but that's what Mod Podge is. Um, and then I'm going to stick these cardboard pieces down to my burlap cover making sure that I leave space in the middle for my spine and lining them up as best I can. And then I'm going to cut off the corners so that when I fold the edges in, the corners aren't in the way and they don't make a big like raised spot by having to fold a bunch of paper over each other. So I'm just again using Mod Podge, folding it over, sticking it down to the cardboard, and then I'm going to use some binder clips here just to kind of hold it in place while it dries. These actually worked really well. I used corrugated cardboard, which <laughs> hindsight being what it is I should have used non-corrugated cardboard because it kind of makes little dents and stuff and it can bend the way you don't want it to so um, but for this project it, it worked fine um, but the binder clips did leave little impressions here and there so if you're a perfectionist maybe don't use corrugated cardboard <laughs> so that's binder clipped and drying over to the side so now it's the fun part getting it to design each page individually so I took out one of the scrapbook pages that had little tags I tested my micron pen and I started writing the kind of tweaked lyrics to the John Party songs that um, my friend's husband really likes. And so each page, the idea is that each page is going to be a clue to where he's going for his birthday. So then I'm just kind of adding stickers and gluing on little decorations, just each page, kind of whatever I thought looked cute. Here I'm just adding like a little banner and gluing down my um, tag. And you'll see each page here in just a minute. I won't make you sit through my entire thought process of how I plan them all out. So here they are. So page one is happy birthday to Mr. Never Misses a Good Time. You've racked up the overtime. It's been one hell of a work week. Um, time to shut this tractor down and sweep me off my feet. 718 is his birthday. That's what the date's for. Here we go again. Drinking one, drinking two. Get ready for Mr. Saturday night. 
And then finally, it's the invitation. It says John Party Concert at the Cable Dahmer Arena, Thursday, November 30th at 7 p.m. So I have my individual pages. It's time to take the binder clips off of my cover. And here's where I decided I needed to do this differently just because the spine was too large. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't measure. So I'm cutting it in half and we're going to make this work. I'm sealing the edges here with hot glue so that um, nothing frays and it, it just doesn't come apart. Um, I <laughs> wouldn't have had to do this if I had planned it out better in the first place, but you know, I was just kind of winging it. It was a fun project. So now I'm using some scrap to make little, I'm going to call them tabs, um, that I'm going to stitch through so that I don't have to crease the actual little index card I made. So I'm just kind of marking the same measurements here. So it's going to be about a quarter of an inch on each side of the index card. And then I'm going to fold that middle piece um, to make the spine like stitching area. So I'm scoring it with a little tool just to make it easier to fold. And so those are the little tabs that will go on the, the index card. And then I folded each one in half again um, to know where the crease is. Then I unfolded each one, put some glue, taped each side to the little postcard, index cards, whatever you want to call them. And that way it has kind of its own little tab to sew through. Um, then I decided to fill in this white space here. The, the burlap paper was really thick. Um, and so if I had just put another piece over top of it, it would have had a weird indention. So I'm just filling the gap here with some extra cards that I didn't use um, just to kind of give it an, an even like layer to add the next piece to. So cutting some more burlap paper to size. There was a lot of cutting involved in this project. So I'm just cutting, cutting, cutting. Um, and then I'm gonna glue this piece over as kind of my inside cover piece so that you don't see all of the, the folds and things. It just makes it look a little bit prettier. And so did it on the other side as well and let those dry for a little bit. And then I did kind of just make sure they were still bendable where the spine was. Now is the tricky part. Um, since I changed my mind, I need to make this middle piece so that you don't see the edges of my little tabs. Um, and so I'm just going to, I had, <laughs> my husband was helping me. It was kind of a, a wing it moment. Um, but anyway, so I ended up taking the little cards out, gluing this piece in there so that the outside would just look like burlap. So then I had to kind of line up the front and back cover. So they I actually like put the front touching the back cover. So like the covers were touching themselves so that they were kind of inside out. It's like sewing a pillowcase. Um, and so I lined up my little tabs on my index cards with the foldable spine. And again, I'm working kind of backwards. So it's kind of hard to see here, but um, put the the covers together with the spines touching and then you can start poking holes with an awl. Um, this actually went through a lot easier than I thought it would. I thought I was going to need a hammer, but I didn't. So um, I just kind of put these about an inch apart um, and started sewing with my thread. And of course my camera cut out when I was trying to show you how to stitch. So here it is stitched, but basically what I did was just take this embroidery thread and tie a knot at the end of it. It doesn't have to be a perfect knot. It can just be, you know, like a double knot. As long as it won't pull through your hole, um, it'll be fine and it'll be on the back. So we're not going to worry too much about it. It kind of got hidden when I tied everything up anyway. So then you start at the back and kind of wiggle and poke your needle through until it catches on the knot. And then you're just going to do a very basic stitch. So through and then over to the next one and down, back through, and then go to the next hole in the back poke it through the front. You had to kind of wiggle the needle because the paper wants to shift around, then down through the next one. And you just kind of went up and down the spine over and over until you had two or three passes on each um, hole there. And then at the end, I just did like a sewing knot. So I just stuck it under the last loop, stuck my needle through that loop and pulled it tight a couple of times. And that was that. So then uh, I decided to write happy birthday on the front. It looked pretty plain without a title or something. So um, I, in my best handwriting, I tried to make a cute little happy birthday title. And of course my camera cut out again, but here's the final product. Each page is stitched in there. You can kind of tell where I had my little tabs. They just held it into the spine. And I hope that he really enjoys this. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
And if you want to see more content like this, head over to my channel and subscribe. Um, but I hope to see you guys again very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.